Hello and welcome back to another video on Unpacked Technologies. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to change the units of measurement in the weather app on macOS. Following this process will allow you to customise the units of measurement within the weather app on your Mac to your personal preferences. It's a pretty simple process so let's get straight into it. Alright, so for this process, what we need to do is open up the weather app. So we'll get that open to start with. And then you'll see that by default, the weather measurements are in the units of measurement that are set on your Mac. So for me, uh, being in Australia, uh, it's set to Celsius um, because that's the system setting. And all of these are sort of based on the system setting on my Mac, such as using the metric system for kilometers and millimeters and things like that. Uh, but if you would like to change that, all you need to do is go up to the menu bar and click on the app name. In this case, it's weather and then click on settings. Then when, once the settings window opens, you want to click the units button. And then you've got a few options here. See at the top, you can change the units of measurement for temperature between Celsius, Fahrenheit or using the system setting, which for me is Celsius. And for other units, you can change the wind from miles per hour, kilometers per hour, meters per second, and a few other options there. For precipitation, you can change it between inches and millimeters. For pressure, you can change it between millibars, inches of mercury, millimeters of mercury, hectopascals or kilopascals. And for distance, you can change it between miles and kilometers. And then if you want to restore it to default uh, you can see here it says set all weather units to the defaults for your wet region so if they had been changed for example uh, so if I change some of these um, here uh, you could see that if I click restore defaults it takes it back to the default setting so if I wasn't happy with some of the changes that I made I can just restore it to the defaults so you'll see here if I change some of these um, such as to meters per second and into kilopascals. When I close this out, you'll see um, that when I look at something like the wind here, you'll see it's at four meters per second and the pressure is 102 kilopascals. If I want to change that back, I can go back to settings and then just change them back to normal like so, or I can just click uh, restore defaults if I would like to and these changes are pretty instant so you can see it changes straight away so yeah that's all there is to changing the units of measurement on the weather app for mac os hopefully this video was helpful and you've had some great success in changing these units of measurement to work a bit better for you in your particular region and with that thanks for watching this video on unpacked technologies let me know in the comments below if you have any other video suggestions for me because I'm more than happy to make those if you'd like to see them don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video.